Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back for another episode of Into the Flu. Today's episode is going to be a part two of the Unforgivable Curses. And uh, why not wear my Azkaban shirt because I am absolutely guilty of this specific combination. So today we're going to talk about Dobby's Help and Venomous Tentacular Juice. This is extremely brutal and very popular and one of my favorite combinations if I'm being honest. So I absolutely love it. Um, it's definitely done really, really well. I play with um, somebody who had a similar deck to me and they also had this combination and so it was really interesting to see just like basically who did it first because that's really kind of what we're up against. So I'll also break down my deck and talk about the setup in order to get to this combination because they're both uh, heavy cards. So anyway, we'll get into all that stuff. I hope you enjoy. All right, everybody, here we go. This is episode two, Unforgivable Curses, Dobby's Help and Venomous Tentacular Juice Combo. So some people may have heard of this. Some people have it in their decks. It's a pretty popular combination. So let's look at the cards first. Dobby's Help reads, your opponent draws 10 cards. Now it is a really heavy card with that 10 right there, um, but there are some ways to get to it a little bit faster and we'll cover that in a minute. Venomous Tentacular Juice. Count the number of cards in your opponent's hand. He or she draws twice that many cards. Another heavy one with nine being right there, but we'll get to that again. So the reason this combination is so brutal is because if you have two actions to play and you're able to play these two cards and they're in your hand, in other words, you build your deck around these two cards, you can have your opponent draw 10 cards, assuming that they have, let's say at a minimum, five cards in their hand, right? Because it's, it's really seldom that we don't have any cards in our hand. I mean, you might come across something like that, but it, again, it, it's pretty seldom. In, in all the games that I have played, I think only twice I have found myself with zero cards in my hand. And I, and I play every week, four times a week. So that, that's, that's quite a few games. Let's say, for example, your opponent has five cards in their hand and you play a Dobby's Help, right? So Dobby's Help says your opponent draws 10 cards. So now your opponent has 15 cards in their hand. Then for your second action, you play Venomous Tentacular Juice, which says count the number of cards your opponent has in their hand. They draw twice that many. So now your opponent has to draw 30 cards. So why is that a problem? Well, because you only have 60 cards in your deck to start with. By the time you are able to get to this, your opponent's deck is probably a little bit lower, right? Because we have to get at least to be able to play Dobby's Help, we need 10 lessons in play. Now, like I mentioned before, you don't necessarily have to have 10 lessons because in my deck specifically, I play Wand Shop. So Wand Shop is a really good location that comes from the Diagon Alley set. And it says, all charms lessons, yours and your opponents provide two power instead of one. So that means if I have five lessons in play and I've got Wand Shop in play as well, I really have 10. So that means that I can play this combination. So this combination specifically, when I play it, comes from my Snape deck. I use Snape as the starting character, which gives me one potion, which provides me one potion power. And then I only use Charms Lessons in that deck. So that allows me to play Wand Shop, and I can have up to, like I said, five lessons in play. And then I'm really able to pull out the heavy hitters like Dobby's Help, Venomous Tentacular Juice, Old Eye Potion, etc. Right? So you can you can kind of play with some of those really heavy cards if you have Wand Shop in play. Because you can continue adding five, six, seven, eight lessons and you really end up having 10 12 14 etc so now let's say that we've got a sickle in play so a sickle is an item you can play only one money card each turn before your turn if this card is in play discard it and you get two more actions this turn so that means i've got this card in play my opponent then goes they do their turn now it's my turn again before I draw my first card, I would discard this sickle, put it in my discard pile, and now I've got four actions because I discard it before my turn 
and I get two extra actions. So now if I've got two extra actions, a total of four, what I have done in the past is I have played two Dobby's help, allowing my opponent to draw 20 cards. And then I have played a Venomous Tentacular Juice. And if I'm so lucky, another one. So let's say, for example, like we said at the beginning, let's say our opponent's got five cards in their hand. We play two Dobby's Help. So now they've got 25 cards in their hand. We play this first Venomous Tentacular Juice. They've got to draw 50 cards, right? So now let's just say they've got two more cards left. I don't know. You would drop another one. Now they're never going to be able, even if we were at the very beginning of the game, they're never going to be able to solve this right here because now you're talking like what, 100 cards? So that is why this combination is super powerful. Sometimes this combination also happens fast. If you get a very good hand at the beginning, you're able to put a couple lessons down. Let's say you put three lessons and then for me, I've got this Severus Snape as my starting character. So I've got a total of four lessons now. I've got three lessons and this fourth power Then I can play my wand shop. And now any other additional lesson that I put in play will just continue to multiply, right? So sometimes we're waiting to be able to put out lessons so that we can play some of these big heavy hitters. But if you've got something like wand shop, it just makes it happen so fast. It's it's honestly incredible. So now sometimes you might find that people just play Venomous Tentacular Juice without the Dobby's help because that that in itself is, is pretty brutal as well. Especially when you play that after you've played Caught by Snape. So let's say you've got a Caught by Snape in play. Your opponent continues drawing cards looking for those lessons. They're drawing, they're drawing, they're drawing. Finally, they get their three lessons. Maybe they've got lucky. Maybe they had three lessons in their hand. Sometimes they won't. And so now let's say they have drawn 10 cards, 15 cards. I've seen it happen. So with all those cards that they've got in their hand, even if it's something like 10 cards and you play a Venomous Tentacular Juice for your first action, so they've got to take twice as many cards. So now they got to take 20 at minimum, right? Assuming that they had a few cards in their hand and they drew enough to have 10. Now they got to take 20, and then you play a second one, and now they got to take 40. So it's really unlikely that they're going to have 40 cards left in their deck after being somewhere halfway through the game. You never know. And even if they do, I mean, that's still, still pretty brutal. But then they might have a lot of good cards in their hand, which is why you have to be careful when you play this combination. So let's say, for example, you play a Dobby's Help and a Venomous Tentacular Juice combination, and and this total ends up having them draw 30 cards. Well, they still have some cards in their deck. That means they're not decked out and they can play. They've got two actions and a ton of cards at their disposal. So if that's the case, then depending on what their next move is, it might be detriment to you. So they might have a caught by Snape and they play it and now they kind of lock you in and they can now at their next turn start doing a few other things that will cause you to deck out. So you just kind of have to be careful when you play it. Either way, these two cards are pretty brutal. It could either help your opponent or hinder your opponent. It's all about how you play it. But that folks is Dobby's Help and Venomous Tentacular Juice. All right, everybody, that'll do it for today's episode. Thank you for joining me on part two of Unforgivable Curses with Dobby's Help and Venomous Tentacular Juice. If you guys like this combination or have used it, let us know in the comments below. And if there's any type of card that you think would be great on this list, then let me know as well. You can always hit me up on Messenger or my Instagram at Harry Potter Morrissey, or of course, leave a comment below. Be safe. <laughs>